Sorry, we got to uh, take care of some business here, but we are back to it in just a few. If you need up to $3,000, type wefixmoney.com directly into your browser. WeFixMoney.com. 7922. That's 800 816 7922. 800 816 7922. How would you recognize them? By their clothes? Their age? The way they speak? Would you recognize a 13 year old boy who gets a 10 year old boy in hopes of turning your bike into a sleepover? Yo, it's the morning hustle. I just want to say I love you guys. You make my day. All right, so it's been a long morning already. We had to get up at out of 5.30 in the morning, leave Northern Virginia, get down here to Southern Maryland, get the kid to school, feed her, do all those uh, things. Now we're back at the RV, and of course, we're out of heating, fuel, RV, propane stuff, whatever. So right back on the road to get some more RV uh, propane so we can we heat this thing up and start researching some bets. Let's go. All right. <clears throat> This is a 2000, I don't know, seven uh, RV. It's a tow behind, it's really old. Uh, needs a little help getting the uh, heat to come on. So I don't know why, but I've got to take this lid off in order for the heat to come on. And before the heat can come on, I've got to turn around, open up this fuse box right here, put in a fuse because without the fuse, it doesn't run. So I keep the fuse over here uh, and the thermostat's not working right now. So ta-da. Hey Donnie, what's up my man? Yeah, everything's good. Everything's good. No complaints at all. I just want to touch base really quick. Um, Christmas got away from me a little bit. I got, uh, you know, all the kids' presents, extra presents and whatnot. Uh, I get paid this Friday. I'm going to shoot you over the uh, rent check post-haste. All right? You know, seriously, uh, this is the Lord Maximus Show. And I wanted to give you a behind-the-scenes look at uh, what I go through from day to day, whether it be uh, family, friends, work, RV living, or uh, living with the Queen Mum up there in Burke, Virginia. All right, so as many of you know, I've been a, a sports handicapper on TikTok for uh, a couple of years now, I think. And uh, now it's time to peel back the curtain, open up the back door, if you will, and then show you uh, what's been going on in the, in the background. I'm always looking for new ways to uh, get an edge on sports betting. Um, and I've done everything from write books to um, just doing some weird methods uh, uh, to try to get an edge, to try to get us some wins. And today I'm going to try something new, okay? So uh, today I signed up for the KenPalm.com um, website. If you don't know Ken Pomeroy, he's a mathematician uh, wizard with college basketball statistics. And he's got a, a very basic website uh, that I bought a year-long membership to. And we're going to see how it works today. Now, there's a lot of stuff on here, a lot of an analytics that are hard to crunch in one afternoon. But I want to actually use it already, first day. Um, and what you can see here, if you were to look at your sports book, DraftKings, FanDuel, whatever, and you then you also looked at the Ken Palm data that he's giving you, or giving us, you'll see that uh, a lot of the spreads, a lot of the over-unders are very, very close, similar, if not the same, across the board on uh, FanDuel and Ken Palm. So what I did was I went in today and started looking for differences in the two books. Let's just call them two books, Ken, the KenPalm.com book and uh, let's say FanDuel. So, for instance, we found St. John's versus Butler today. 
Ken Palm is predicting uh, St. John's to be the winner today at 66%. That's just a money line situation. Of course, we can't bet money line. It's not worth it, right? You're, you're looking at a, a minus 300, minus 400 for St. John's over Butler. We need to be better than that. FanDuel is giving us a spread of minus 6.5 for St. John's. Well, the uh, Ken Palm predictions here say that it's going to be a four-point swing between St. John's and Butler. Yes, St. John's are supposed to win by 66%. That's what they're saying. But uh, a four-point margin. So, instead of taking St. John's at a money line, which is not going to make us any, any money, the St. John's minus 6.5 is a little riskier, right? So we're going to go Butler plus 6.5 at a minus 105, that's probably a better value right there, um, based be, you know based on uh, the research in um, the FanDuel books or the DraftKings books versus what uh, Ken Palm is putting out. So we're just we're just gonna go we're gonna go a little bit tiny little bets. We'll we'll do a little streak of maybe six, seven, eight, nine, ten days, and uh, see how we do with these bets. So we're going Butler plus six and a half tonight, uh, January January second. 2024. I found another game that there's a little uh, anomaly here, a little difference. Colorado State is favored by uh, 66% to beat New Mexico tonight. Um, their predicted score is 82 to 77. That's a five point difference. So in this case, we are going to give uh, the favorite, or we're going to we're going to give the underdog uh, minus three and a half. So Colorado State minus three and a half. And a minus 110, that keeps us under the five-point differential that Ken Palm is predicting. All right? So those are the only two single-game bets. Don't put those together. We're just putting two single-game bets together like that. So it's going to be Butler plus 6.5, and, and then it's going to be Colorado State minus 3.5. Okay? So that's it. We're going to get into uh, this YouTube a little bit more in 2024. Just to give you a sneak peek, a behind-the-scenes look at what uh, what my life is like as a sports better. Okay, so right now we're we're staring at um, let's let's talk about yesterday. Yesterday was absolutely terrible. I think we uh, we lost at least three out of four bets yesterday, uh, all single unit uh, um, bets. So we went one win, three losses. That is, uh, that is no bueno, okay? We had the Michigan win, so, uh, you know, go blue and all that. But back to reality today, we're down, we're down, uh, what, three units on, on day one of the 2024 betting calendar year. So we're gotta, we got to turn that around. And with new research and new ideas, this is what we're going to do. We're going to document every bet every day we're going to do a video just like this you'll see a little bit of my life we'll talk about today's sports how we came to these conclusions i'll post them in the discord so get in the discord uh become part of the conversation don't sit uh, don't be a wallflower a, a fly on the wall and just see what one or two people are saying we've got hundreds if not thousands of people inside the discord who uh participate with uh, sports betting stuff and this year i'm gonna try to get us all off of the parlay wagon 99 percent of the time we will have moonshots of course but we really got to get away from uh the parlays because i know a lot of guys are dropping out of the discord because they're running out of money they're doing player props every day they're doing uh crazy parlays all the time and even though the lord maximus went one win and three losses yesterday. Um, you'll see over time, single game bets is the way to go. So click the subscribe button, get in the Discord. Of course, you probably already follow me on TikTok. That's it for today. More to follow tomorrow, of course. We're going to be right back here tomorrow with another video. You're welcome. Oh, okay. You're welcome.